Okay, so we're here in North Dakota working set up on uh, a field that we found a couple fields last night that were pretty stacked. This one was definitely holding a good number of birds. Uh, we have another field that we have kind of set aside, hopefully for tomorrow, that was loaded. Uh, but this field here was a really easy setup. We knew we had to hide. That's where we're going to check on the field uh, this afternoon. Uh, that we're going to hunt tomorrow. We just didn't know quite where we wanted to hide. So this one was the easier hide. We're brushed in on this fence line. We've got great cover up in front. I think we're hit really well. And we're on the X of where they were last night. So uh, hoping this whole thing comes together. We've got uh, we've got the spread set. We've got everybody ready to go. Uh, we have Clyde and Solo you know, with uh, today, which is really fun because this is going to be Solo's first honker hunt. So he's never picked up a honker before. Uh, he duck hunted all last year, late season. Never picked up any honkers. So, uh, and then Clyde, of course, is our veteran that we have here uh, just to be safe. So, um, good tandem. Hopefully, it's, it's a good hunt here, and we have uh, a lot of good friends with us, which is what it's all about. So, Wes is going to be here. When is going to be? Boom. Uh, can we start taking these DSDs and just kind of pile them out front or what? Four more, six more to do, I only got 47 more to do. Hard this way. So what all these birds were doing is they were basically from this point lined out this way yesterday. So let's you know, just kind of cover us up. We'll put some walkers in here coming and then let's just kind of string it out. Let's have everybody kind of pointing that way. Put everything in there. If I were to put more, yeah, I'd for sure put one on the back. Right? Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Great shooting, guys. <laughs> Solo. That was great. Look at that. First North Dakota retreat. Good boy. Hey. Oh! oh. <laughs> Come here. That a boy. So, so good. Yeah, yeah, that was right. Yeah. Did you see me? Sit. He said you shot that one. Clyde. <laughs> Good. Good boy, Solo. Good boy, heel. Heel. Good job, buddy. Yep. Hey. Kind of. So, first group comes in. First group of the season. First hunt of the season for Solo, right? Um, he's coming off of a year that he had limited hunting. And the hunting that he did do last year was all down in Arkansas, mostly in the timber. So, Field hunting is something that is fairly new to him. So what we saw is on this retrieve, he came back. And again, if you look at the blind here, you know, it is basically a wall of grass, you know? So he's coming back trying to figure out what's going on, where am I? I was standing off to the side, but he saw a lot of heads and got a little confused. You know, that's a young dog thing, you know? And so this is something I'm not gonna be upset about it. Hey, just call him back, let him be successful, what? Oh. <laughs> Still got him. <laughs> he flared hard. 
there's no way. <laughs> Definitely could have shot them. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you know he got a little confused, right? Again, blind, hiding, you know. So I'm just gonna praise him, bring him back, and then what I did after that is I brought him off to the side and I just threw a couple retrieves for him, giving him the confidence. Hey, I know where I'm going. You know, coming back to, and then just kind of building from there. So this is the in the field training. This is very very important. You know, you need to kind of roll with it. Not everything's gonna be perfect. You know, see what your dog gives you, and then use the coach, make the right adjustments, make them successful. Heard a goose. Got a duck coming right in. Kill those three. Over. Good boy, let's go, let's go. It sounds like a ton of them are coming. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, there is. But these guys are looking to get picked. <laughs> Okay. 
Solo. Good boy. 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 Look at you like a pro. Look at you like a pro. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like since when do you hunt pterodactyls? Good boy. Look at you. Heel. Hey. Hey. Heel. Heel. Drop. Good boy. Good. Mark? Mark? Wasn't that goose right there, you guys? Yeah, it should yeah. be right in the fence line. Unless it's still alive. He's, 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 he's gotta alive. be right there. He's hunt, hunt, hunt. Then don't we have another one in the decoy? We have one more out there. There's one more one out there. One more piece out there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Must have got it up. That's uh, it's flopping on the other side of the fence. Can you see it? It's walking? It was flopping. Oh. Can he get through the fence? Yeah. It's a pretty tight fence. Is it? Is he, Is he over there? Good there boy! Go. Look at you! Look at you! Good boy! Good boy! Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good. Good boy. Is that a duck? Let's go, good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy, let's go! Good boy! Good boy! Hey, hey, hey! Good, good, good! Good boy! Good boy, good boy. Look at you. Good job. Good job, buddy. Look at that. That is a big goose there, huh? Kill him, Joe. Solo. Yo, yo. Good boy, Solo. Yeah, he was locked up way over here. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Getting the hang of her, buddy. Come on, let's go. Hey, over here. Good boy. Look at you. That is happy. Hey. Good job. Good job, buddy. All right. You guys Channel. get a photo of Joe holding that goose with Solo. Thank you, Solo. All right, so this is a perfect in the field training session that we have going on here. So on this hunt, uh, what happened is we have Solo, who's a young dog, uh, really has never done a field hunt like this before. And what happened is the first three, four volleys, everything was right in the decoys. And so when I had to send him past the decoys, he kept wanting to suck in and stay in the decoys. So uh, we have uh, Travis going to get the truck right now. And so what I did is I had him you know, hold or carry a, uh, a bunch of ducks out. And then he watched them, we dropped them, and then there's a pile of, of ducks out there. So I'm sending him probably 100, uh, 150 yards, somewhere in there. 
sent him back to this pile time and time again so he's understanding that everything's going to be right in the decoys that if i send him through this decoys that there is going to be that reward there so he's gone twice so we'll send him here on the third one good boy see you sit confident he's taking this line now versus before when he got outside the decoys he started breaking down right away see he's trusting it right he wanted to break down he kept trusting that's great yeah he hits it but this is where we wouldn't have known like in a training setup he goes and he hammers all this stuff so in the field there's things that come up that a young dog is going hey Everything's been in the decoys. I want to be in the decoys because that's where I've been successful. So these little live training sessions are going to help us. So then when we hunt this afternoon, tomorrow, good boy, come here, buddy. This is all going to help you build on this.